These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Difference in those backs. Abel has himself an extra longsword, which means that up until Arn can get himself another back, he's going to be down in damage, which is a real problem in the early game when no one really has that many stats at all. And uh, as we're using up those backs, uh, dragging the <laughs> uncontested start here from WE, which uh, is already onto the board here for WE in terms of the objectives. Some early dragon uh, cryo here. Really nicely done from WE to use that push, and that'll mean that they actually have time to maybe look at the other side of the map and contest for the grubs on the uh, top side after. Going for that early dragon, they did have the cross map to go for the grubs as well, and they'll just get all three uncontested. Yeah, so bot lane, uh, the, the, the bot side was an early startup on that dragon. Of course, the grubs spawned after, so it's not like GLFS could have taken the grubs while the dragon was going down. The grubs weren't alive yet. Cool down, maybe EY scam could teleport to a play. It doesn't really um, want to leave a turret under his tower, and he's wandering down to the play now as Wayward. He's running. They are going in on the engage here. Here's the Nature's Grass to come right back. There's the TP onto the ward in the back. Nature's Grass connecting on a bolt by members. GLFS with a big Bramble Smash on. Gets the first blood. They try to get Abel. Fate Seal not going to connect it there. YSK I'm going for the all out, but he does have to get out after that one. Dragon does get denied, and IG will turn back on it themselves. Yeah, the Maokai showing its value, just really reliable engage, and it gives Nani uh, and Vampire a good option as well. So that's going to be some summoners take away from WE. It's going to be a kill given over, and Wayward, he doesn't stick around in top lane. He gets one play in mid lane. Wayward walked down to the play because he doesn't have that teleport, but he didn't pop the ghost. He didn't stop the teleport from YSKM. I think Wayward just kind of missing the plot a little bit, and, and he, I think he's quite lucky that YSKM doesn't get any kill participation himself. Just immediately after fights, be able to take down so many structures. So really nicely done for WE is... They did lose that dragon in the end, but they've had pretty solid uh, neutral objective control so far. And obviously being able to lean on to Wayward's advantage up here. But that is the continual conversation is, is this advantage going to be enough to win them the game? Harold's that been started. Six grubs uh, already in for WE. I don't think I do want to give this one over for free if they can help. They're not in position, so they'll probably have to give that uh, all the same. Westcam alone in bot side. Uh, he doesn't have that teleport, so he won't be able to work, work, work his way up towards that plate. He gets some turret damage and a wave down to tower, but uh, Harold should safely go over to WE. Got really good control on this top side. Yeah, he's a little bit of game. All right. Yeah. Oh, you got the eyes. Oh, oh. He died for that. <laughs> I think he does. He just flashed. He has no way out. Oh, goodness. Goes from bad to worse here. He tries to dash at the last second. Vanani will get the kill with the pullback there, so they will punish. The wise can split out someone from the combo as well. Harold's been put down in mid lane for WE. That will set up for the dragon fight as well. Push in towards mid, have six scrubs, and see if you can get yourself a good fight. Oh, they go in for the engage there. And GLFS is going to come around the corner of the face shield. The combo is it enough? No, Nani goes down. Wayward finds two kills, and he's got that axe spinning around in circles, making IG dizzy straight into the dragon, and maybe even into YSK Ampia. That ghost, he's able to chase him down here. Maybe he's got the permafrost too. Oh my goodness, YSK is going to try to take the fight back, but now the guillotine to get the bleeds down, and he does find an exit with the rest of the team. The all out is it going to be enough? Maybe they take down Wayward. The flash comes through in WE. They're looking to fight more. That wolf is howling, and Abel's finding a flank. The ADC comes through, and another couple kills go to Wayward. They are playing through their advantage so well here. Abel starts shredding through the dive as well. IG, that's a blueprint of not how to uh, how not to team fight in this game. You can't afford to let these carries have a free team fight. So Suddenly, all of those numbers on the bottom of the screen are red. Advantages over to the side of WE. So if Wayward um, can then stick in a lane and kind of use the fact that IG have used that Nature's Graft or may maybe use themselves in the engage combos, these will fall apart. They're going for a big engage. Here they go. Oh, they actually find a big one here. Fofo going down already as WE. They have to find a way to stabilize. This is somewhat of a troubling situation now that they're just burning the Baron. Yeah. So Wayward's going to come up as well. Vampire, he doesn't have his Magnet Storm now. He's in the brush and now he's been seen. I think WE, I think they can still fight. Abel has all tools oh, available. And Chiang needs to get in the pit. 50-50! It's going to go the way of GLFS. He might have just activated Griffin. Now Nani goes wide with the Fade Seal. They try to find the backline. They cannot. You still have Wayward, a big dog in this fight as IG scattered to the wind. YS Cam, he's going to be chased down and he's just going to have to be the mark. They did end up getting the Baron. They will get out with a bunch of the buffs, and IG finds some life. Yeah, WE slip up in terms of their vision control. IG pounds. Wisecam will go down. Eventually, he'll go down. He's not making it out of this one, but still walking away with three Baron buffs from that situation is absolutely um, a heist. Is he going to get the Empowered Recall? He might even get himself an Execute from this. He's trying. He gets himself damaged there, though, I believe. 
He gets the kill. Hey, Abel hey, and it's worse. Thing. He goes to Abel. <laughs> <laughs> so that's now going to be extended death time for, for YSKM. 40 seconds dead. Um, problem is, he takes so long to die that WE normally would like to use this to take the dragon. Um, not going to be the case, though, because WE spent so long killing that Cassante. IG, great pick off from them. Those solar players with those glacial prisons. And we're seeing Vampire maybe take a little bit of that here. Half his health gone. We'll have time to reset, though, before the fight. Yeah, Nani takes down an outer turret while this is happening. Wayward pushes in his hot plane. Love so, that. It's just like, Joe, I didn't know you were such a good artist. <laughs> there are a bunch of fools. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, Nani getting himself into this outer tower gold here. WE, they have the six grubs. They've been really struggling to push up um, that much mm. further. They're waiting until these objectives comes up. You know? I'm just really interested at the way that these two teams are approaching this IG one. Specifically, like, IG are waiting for WE in a lot of cases to try and engage, maybe overextend, and they capitalize with a lot of reactionary engages there and follow-ups. Now, W, are they going to run back towards this too? They're going to get some vision <laughs> control back. Um, right, IG, they still have themselves all of their flash engage tools. This is not good terrain oh, for WE. Yeah, this is a rough pincer right now. Vampire is looking for it. He goes there on, can't find the engage with the face. Seal is going to find it, and they get already one. Yet Shang is down. They're trying to fight back. IG, they have Wise Cam on the back line. Wise Cam going away, though. Look at Fofo. He's got the rockets, and Wayward's got the spins. Do they have it, though? Wayward, he can't keep it up, and he is down. Only a dog is left for WE to stand, and IG, they'll pull it back. IG pulled the trigger in their own time, in their own leisurely pace. WE giving up another big objective. Even though they get themselves at inner turret, it's going to be IG once again finding a way back into this game. More than that, they're pulling themselves probably ahead in this game at this point. Vampire goes onto the front line again. I thought this was going to be a mistake. I thought that maybe giving Abel a chance to uh, play around his feathers was going to be a mistake. But Abel, I don't think he has a great flash. His feather positions aren't great. His ult position wasn't great. He ends up flashing right into the enemy team and he gets hit by a sapling. So not the best team fight from Abel. I thought the engage from IG potentially could have put them under the bus, but they just about clutch it out before the second. And, yeah, uh, Darius Q comes through. And you know who had a hell of a fight? It's that man in the bot lane for IG, the man that's been singing strong the whole time on 6.7 thousand damage done on the Kai'Sa. A mainstay in recency for IG. One of the pillars, it feels like, in the new era for this team. And he is popping off now. He's on four and a half. Been extremely nice from IG. And now the siege is coming to town against WE. They have to find something, some sort of life in this one because you have to remember they can't lose a single game. They found back lines. They've consistently found pincer maneuvers. And Vampire will be spotted out. WE feeling a little bit scared here as they set up. Wayward just uh, sticking around in the corner. He'll be spotted on that ward. Vampire has the Mega Blast cone. cone. They have so much distance that they can cover here. It's a front to back though. Maybe WE can pull this one out. IG feeling a little bit respectful as they back away. Dragon is still the contest here, Dimera. They are contested now. It's 5,000 down. They're going for the Dragon. It goes over to GLFS. Mia, the bait sealed by Nani on the back, but he goes back and now you already got numbers advantage for WE. WE, they take the kills, but they lose that dragon. It's still going to be something. Hang on it. Oh, and if he hits another oh. W, this could be a kill. Those carries uh, again. So that's going to be a tower going down for them in that bot side and at least claiming some territory on the map, which WE have struggled to do. This is the first time they've really yeah. managed to touch those inner turrets bef um, beyond Fofo taking that mid lane one in trade for the last Baron. Gonna WE going to leave it. WE going to leave it. They're going to go towards the Baron instead. There are no they saplings up it. there right now, and they're going to try and burn it down. It's not great terrain for WE, but IG, they're teleporting in. This will be YSKM. Nani trying to walk up with the rest of the team. Is this how? we go down as WE making the call. They go for the Baron play, but now they are surrounded by IG. They go for the play on the split side, though. GLFS gets a big nature's graph, big face seal, though. Here comes the entrance. Oh, Vampire obliterated, but look at on. He's all by himself. He needs to find a way out no! of here. The escape oh, no! button as he does end up getting back one. Now he's trying to find another. He's going down, though, going golden, but there's nobody in any vicinity to help him. Nani trying to get Abel on the other side, but WE, they are able to fight back. They find the Baron, and now they're pushing down mid lane. Even look for an end of the game. They're all big ultimates up from IG right now, and they have good tower killing potential. I think they the might even go for the game. Wayward feeling himself even more strongly now. Picked up the Darius, and he is laying it down. They're going to fight their way into this one. They sold the Baron minions. Why is Cam getting low? IG, their hope here in this game. They got Nani, and that's a huge one. He's going to get a big set off of WE in that fight. The big pick off on Abel. These guys have an incredible performances to try to close this one out for IG and WE. 
They have been uh, they have been bruised and battered in this one for sure. On that Yone, Baron buff still up though. Definitely looking to shove in with the waves. And they actually have a pretty heavy siege here. Both are going to take a hit. Why is Cam the true front line right now? Nature Grass coming in. This is IG's play. They want to try to make. Wayward still heavy front line. Glacier Prison goes wide. The Convergence starting to kick up here. Look at Nani though. He needs to get in. There's the Blade Collar back. They cut out Yanxiang. Yang. On finds one. This is what IG needed. They find Mark. That's a double kill for the star on. And they want to follow it up yes, as well. Ults. They still have Killer Instinct. Wayward needs to be careful. On! Stepping up. Trying to go for it. Able body blocks. Fate sealed in. Able and on. They're going at each other's throats. But it's on who has a team next to him. And IG from the break. It's Wayward. He's trying to fight tooth and nail. But the wolf will be turned into a pelt here. As IG surround him on all sides. They're going to go for Alco Gaming. He's throwing up the emotes. But it's going to be a sweet, sweet salute by IG. They've tried to clutch it out, but their team fighting just hasn't been able to deal consistently with Arn's Kaiser. Yes, Kaiser is shredding through the front line. WE getting pushed back now. Nady teleporting to that bot wave, not able to find a teleport. Here comes Fog Fog. Elder started. It might be game one, but the stress is high. Big engagement Nady! point on Nady! He finds the massive feed seal, but he's going down. Look at the fight, though, in the Dragon Pit. Yang Yang is completely caught by himself. On the other side, though, IG, they're picking off members. Dragon going low, and Elder has been secured by IG. WE, they're going to be executed, and their hopes and dreams are being dashed in front of their very eyes. WE, they can't clutch it out. Invictus Gaming will go through to the Knights Rivals stage after a blitz of team fights. Team fight after team fight going the way of Invictus Gaming, and they'll win in this hyper late game. What a season, what a comeback. And as IG circle the wagons here, they will don their armor, they will unsheathe their sword and join the Knight rivals at the round table of the next round in the LPL. This is the first Aurelia um, of summer in a major region. It's been played in some of the secondary leagues, but this is the first one we see. And, uh, well, I mean, you've locked in that Zeri. Uh, Zeri, I don't think, enjoys playing against the Aurelia if no, you get frozen out on that all. wave. Um, uh, the, obviously, the only one that's missing is Rookie's LeBlanc. Hard to fit LeBlanc to this composition. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. But this is looking like a level one that, honestly, IG are happy with. They're going to take the engage out of Marco. No, <laughs> they're getting the fist to come here. We're just having fun as Abel. He's not. Oh, and no. that's first blood <laughs> with the multi IG flare. Needed to. Yeah, I, I think so, they really just want to focus on they, these skins. I like, love wow. it. Hey, this wow, is the only guys, time like, we've look, gotten this, I feel like. Look how cool these skins there they are. <laughs> that's oh, no. the ego again. Oh, no, don't focus on the skin that's going <laughs> to no, die. No, no, no. <laughs> Turn away. Let's go look at top lane. They don't need to worry about bot lane. <laughs> But yeah, I think it is worth talking <laughs> about how timing. IG, the top 10 player, LPL player list of all time, and one of them, of course, was uh, Uzi on that one. We have a run towards topside and see if uh, Wayward can channel his inner Uzi and get us off some other kills. Cat versus a bear. I don't know who's going to win, oh, but there's a lady with scissor legs. I don't, why is Cam going down? <laughs> He's using the X-Tech ultimatum. He's been low Wayward. He gets him. Big flash, though, and he gets one back. GLFS able to claw something back here for IG. Now get the <laughs> second one. Come on, man. Oh, it's the battle, Sichuani. <laughs> GLFS, 2-0-1, gets himself a load of gold. Nady's going to pick himself that way for topside as well. Uh, worst game, I think it is fair to say, has not had an easy lading phase. Wayward once again says, look, worst game, I know you're a duelist. I know you love these picks. So anyway, here's a Darius in the vein top. Enjoy yourself. Be down 50 CS. Uh, and see, see you in the late game team fights. IG, uh, they might have, um, yeah, he just really likes bullying down in the top lane. Um, you guys will do that very well. Uh, IG gonna get themselves three grubs and the, and the dragon as well. So, while top lane is not a happy, it is not a safe place for IS It is not a happy place. From Nady, but hey, there's one of those minion oh, no. flashes. Tries to get the vanguards, but can't do it in the end. Why is Cam, though? He's under tower here. He's trying to take a 1v2. He's trying to use that deck. Oh, he gets it back nicely done. Why is Cam? But it'll be slowly <laughs> brought down with the thumbs down from Wayward. Ah, uh, good clash from Mark. If he gets trapped under the turret, he does die there. So well played by Worst Game, at least to get the cannon minion. Uh, hey. no, it's fine. Um, no, it's not Overwatch, but hey, we'll see if uh, IG can reap some souls themselves. WE. Um, they have a lot of people that can die on the engage. Um, so the question is now, how do they make it through that? This is the problem right here. Oh my god, dive, dive, dive. It's not Overwatch, but it might be a submarine captain here for IG <laughs> as uh, GLFS picks that one up. And he himself is 3 0.
on the Sejuani now. Huge stuff from him and a continuation <laughs> of that massive domination in yeah. game number one. Who would have thought that with all the dealers in the game, it's the Sejuani who's carrying <laughs> the kills. Nigel, that's bad. He's just throwing that Sejuani as damage carry after all. Doesn't have his ult this time. Gonna be the grubs coming down. Teleport in oh. from Nani. Has the ult on the flank. Massive flank here. WE caught themselves with their oh, hands. No. Oh no, Nady misses another one. I don't think he's hit a single ultimate yet, but it doesn't matter. GLFS will pick up a fourth kill in the game for himself. <laughs> They'll even get five probes in total. <laughs> and uh, we're having a little bit of fun, but IG, yeah. they are uh, they are coming away with this one so far at least. <laughs> oh man. Well, you know what? Maybe it's just a way to celebrate GLFS and his growth within this season. It really you know is. what? I think I think given that IG took a lot of gambles on a lot of the players on their roster, GLFS getting uh, getting the kills. He has finally uh, players have had the best entrance and the resources they begin for that. Nani gets the top of foe. Foe stacks up his passive. Dangerous. Yeah. Gets the blade slow. Full build around. Oh. the blade. Oh my god. You're just an ADC in a top laner's world now as well. WE following this one. GLFS comes over. RKO out of nowhere. And WE, it's WE. They're not one. even going to get a single one. <laughs> it's another kill for GLFS. That's the one that we want to see carrying, baby. The carry Sajwani for the jungle. Wait. Like, I love the fact that there are so many duelists, so many AD carries. You know who gets all the kills? It's the goddamn Sajwani in the jungle. Uh, Nenny has uh, really tried to do what the team needs of him. Roll swapping, exactly. swapping in and out. Um, and there's, there is value to that. Now, the way I've phrased it before is that I have sympathy for Nenny. Now, he's also been the reason IG have lost a load of games. So, <laughs> like, I'm not going to say it's been a perfect play, but... Um, I have a lot of respect for someone that does does the role that they are given to the best of their ability and just tries their very best, you know, and goes beyond what um, we expect of them. I think they I had a lot of respect for them now coming into the mid lane. He might just be dying here as well. Oh yeah, my god. For him, but he's getting burst out, man. I mean, static shift proc. He's back in, though. It's top laner versus ADC. Okay, well, that's unfair because he had Yang Xiang, uh, but it is a 2v1 and one that W will yeah. gladly take. Okay. 5, 10, 15 minutes of the game just... where the other player just has to sit there and just wait, and then they get something like Steel Caps and first item, and then it's the, uh, you know, my turn now, effectively. Yeah. Wire Scam uh, turns things back around and uh, almost gets himself something from that. Uh, of course, IG5 grubs. They've able to push in turrets now very effectively too. This has been a very scrappy game. There it hasn't has. really been that much rival reason. It's just been, hey, can I have a one yeah. one now? Yes, you they're can. Going. Here comes the fight. Yeah, they're going for the fight there. Mark is uh, fully left out by his load, so Bias K comes over the hook shot just to make sure he'll pick up that kill. Uh, oh, oh! The Glitch of Prison, the dive! And uh, I don't know, at this point we need to get them some nice Admiral-like hats for IG. <laughs> he tried to catch him here. He was laughing so loudly, it seemed. Uh, as he got away, and then now he's having a little bit more fun here, trying to dodge away. Oh! He's making some outplays, and Mark coming over to his saving grace, and they got to outplay Wayward. He's laughing his way all the way to the bank. GLFS can't save them this time. The battle is run. He can't take down uh, uh, that that vein uh, from Wayward. Just gave himself a turret as well, and suddenly, no WE, they get themselves both of those out, out of turrets themselves. That's going to be some gold for <laughs> items for himself for that E upgrade too. Uh, you do not want to be stacked here. If, if Camille gets into you with a multi-man stun, that's going to be a pain. Oh, Mark's been dragged away oh, out of position there. No. This is a problem. Here comes YSKM. Here comes Vampire, more so. Tries to go for Predict on on the other side too. Glacier Prison goes way wide there. On try to fight his way on a Wayward. Wayward is gone. That is a ton of your damage here. And now Nani, he's up in the front and Nace is still a huge bruiser. Cop, oh yes, Fofo. Yang, he's going in. It's Fofo making the difference, but on. He's getting the outplays. Yes, Yang cuts him down to size, but it's a t -t 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 triple kill for IG's <laughs> bot later. <laughs> You know what? I feel like this team, this game, can be adequately described by uh, the Red Side Team's tag. Wee! It's just continually going down the slide into chaos. Like, neither of these teams is. You cannot convince me this is a serious game of League of Legends. Go to a tank frontliner, and Abel's just sitting there by himself, just wondering, why am I not dead yet? <laughs> That's wayward. He's going to wonder and have the answer given to himself here as he's down. But, uh, my goodness, uh, <laughs> this game's got a little sideways here. Yeah, carry on our way with Sun into the afterlife. Uh, it just doesn't stop Vampire's uh, found himself another Van Helsing moment. He does have him. He's got the oh, God. Oh. Like, stop fighting! He gets another one! That's a 6 0 and 8 <laughs> Sejuani for GLFS. You thought with all these carry top laners that get picked up, it was going to be them getting all the kills. Nah, it's Griffith now. We're looking at bot side, or at least at this top side, as Mark. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 
Mania, I feel like, has hit a power <sighs> spike, and W, we're not ready for it. That's a double kill to him. Yet Yang is in the middle of everything. The IG logos of 2018 come up. The skins are flaring. IG are feeling themselves, and they're taking the Baron on top of everything. Look, if, if we're going to do this kind of blockbuster movie, kind of like Hollywood Michael Bay shenanigans in this game, can we at least get a fun popcorn bucket or something? Can we get ourselves like the Dune popcorn bucket? Because I feel like <laughs> no. we need some extra like merchandise here. Proper chill game here. Uh, both is jumping over. We're fighting again. Problem is, W very, very squishy. And all of these duelists have their items now. So, um, good luck, W. Uh, two items there earlier. <laughs> Doesn't care that they're down, you know. Bring your tail 60, with 60, you. 60, uh, 60 CS. Or mid lane, you know, was bullied about in the early game a little bit. Here we go, oh. though. Oh, Vampire takes that engage, though, easily. Glacial Prison coming down on the side, too. As uh, Wayward's stepping up. He's trying to get it. Oh, oh! No, 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 no. He almost gets him. Look at Nani. He's looking for the resets. Can't hit it, though. And all of a sudden, you're looking at top lane. You're in it. It's gone. And Bofo can't do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, worst game. Oh, it's not just... going down. No, for once, why is it? What, what kind of a game has it come to you when Wirescam is the level head playing macro moves? What, what has happened to the Wirescam <laughs> that I know and love? What has happened to this team? Kind of anti of what it actually is representing, but uh, it's uh, WE who are, are giving us a show. And now that show is going to continue, and unfortunately, it's not one that they like very much. They're going to go back in for Marks and Gage. Wait, where is here? Finally, on goes overextended, but still finds Bofo on the fadeaway kill now, too. And it's already Mark gone. Yet Chiang, he just wants something back. He wants to try to find on, but IG make it out. They do lose Vampire for it, but maybe they go right back in as they're waiting in the bushes. Yeah, that's still sick. That's why Scab is going to get able oh! obliterated. Oh! Abel's God, WE, they're circling the drain He's here. Got it again. And YSKM again. It's the top lane shenanigans, bros, coming at you. And it's a double kill going straight over to Odd. TP's in the base, and YSKM, he's going to be stopped by Mark here. No, maybe not. <laughs> He's actually taking Mark to task. The minion wave, though, Mark able to clear that one out. The dragon soul goes over to IG. Sides, it feels like, but primarily bot side here to try to get a tier two. And uh, WE, they got a couple fights left. Well, maybe just the one at this point. I, I don't know. There's just so much gold, so much tower killing potential. WE, I mean, yeah, uh, it is just so destructive here from, from IG. What do they do? It's another oh, one no. going forward. Yeah, you just can't even step up at all. The dive, dive, dive composition sinking down below the waves and sinking WE's hopes and dreams in this summer split. Slowly but surely, the IG logos come out. The signaling of the end as a sweet, sweet melody will sing WE off into their lonely, dark places as 2025 will be the next time we see this team at IG. They rise to the moment and they claim a 2-0 victory. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.